I'm pleased to report a very strong performance uh, in Q3 of FY17, where uh, we have reported a strong revenue growth of 32% from uh, 829 crores last fiscal uh, to 1,092 crores this fiscal. Uh, at an EBITDA level, we've seen a jump of 57% uh, from 206 crores uh, last fiscal to 324 crores this fiscal. Net profit surged 65% from 104 crores last fiscal to uh, 171 crores this fiscal. Um, margins improved considerably from 25% last fiscal to 30% this fiscal. And if you look at EBITDA and uh, margins, you can clearly see a huge improvement in the quality of earnings. A better product mix, largely supported uh, by our biologics performance this quarter. Uh, licensing income also contributed to this. Uh, it doubled from 34 crores last fiscal to 79 crores this fiscal. And I would like to emphasize that this is, uh, uh, you know, on top of the fact that our R&D spends continue to be in line with what we've done uh, in the past. R&D at a gross uh, level was 100 crores, uh, and at a net level it was 85 crores, which is still up from last fiscal, which was at 68 crores at a net level. And we continue to remain very focused on an R&D-led strategy. Um, I would say that uh, as a company, you can see that Biocon's R&D-led strategy is beginning to deliver very rich returns for us as an organization, as a company. Um, you know, as you know, we've always believed that we were very differentiated as a company and we are now beginning to uh, gain visibility as a front runner in biologics out of India, as a biosimilars company out of India. And we clearly want to build on this uh, leadership profile going forward. Um, I would like to basically touch upon some very important highlights uh, that we hit uh, and my uh, milestones that we hit this quarter. Uh, starting with uh, the US FDA uh, acceptance of our biosimilar trastuzumab uh, tr uh, BLA. And uh, as you know, uh, the target action date has been set for 3rd September 2017. This is a huge milestone for Mylan and Biocon. Um, added to that was the fact that uh, we now have uh, three regulatory uh, submissions in EMA which have been very successful, PEG filgrastim, insulin glargine, and biosimilar trastuzumab. Um, we expect to follow up with the biosimilar trastuzumab in the US as well with both pig filgrastim and insulin glargine. So you can see that we have delivered extremely well on uh, three of the biosimilars in our pipeline. We expect to follow suit with both adalimumab and bevacuzumab uh, you know, by next fiscal. So I think we are very well poised to be a front runner in biosimilars. Now a huge milestone that we hit this quarter was also the offtake agreement that we signed with the Ministry of Health in Malaysia. This is a 300 million ringgit uh, you know, offtake agreement for the supply of recombinant human insulin cartridges and reusable pens uh, to cater to the, the, the demand that uh, the Malaysian um, health uh, uh, you know, ministry has for treating diabetes in Malaysia. And this is to be done over a three-year period with a possible extension of an additional two years. This is a very important milestone for Biocon Malaysia because it offsets uh, the uh, anticipated depreciation and fixed costs that we will start capturing next fiscal. And uh, uh, this uh, Malaysian facility is also expected to cater to uh, other emerging markets where, which will happen after such regulatory inspections are con uh, conducted by the, the, the emerging markets that we presently cater to. But all in all, what this means is that the Malaysian entity uh, will now uh, you know, basically offset these costs and there might be a 
marginal loss in the Malaysian entity, but basically it will have very minimal impact or negligible impact on the PNL of Biocon uh, at a consolidated level. Um, I also believe that uh, you know we've had some other very important milestones uh, that we have uh, that we have delivered on. Rosuba stacked in ANDA got uh, ANDA got approval uh, in the U.S. So that basically opens our innings in the generics uh, side of the business. Uh, APIs are doing very well. S uh, small molecules had a stellar quarter, and uh, on the back of uh, statins and immunosuppressants. And uh, we also, uh, you know, uh, were very proud to see that we were the only Indian pharmaceutical company that made a debut on the Asia IP elite list of 2016, where we were recognized for our IP-led value creation uh, strategy by uh, Business Congress Asia. So again, I think you can see that Biocon has remained very steadfast to its IP-led, R&D-led strategy, which has really begun to you know, deliver very rich returns for us as a, as a company and to our shareholders. Um, in terms of our novel pipeline, I'd just like to mention that again, this is a very exciting pipeline that we have put together. Uh, insulin tregopil is all set to enter uh, uh, pivotal clinical trials uh, this calendar year. And we expect uh, many of our programs, whether it is our Fusion Map program uh, uh, or our uh, BBX20 program uh, or our uh, other programs, we expect to be filing INDs this uh, calendar year. Uh, two of our programs, which is the Quark uh, uh, Partner Program uh, for a SIRNA pro program, is beginning to advance uh, very nicely in the clinic. Uh, we have. This is a global trial where India is also one of the centers and we have uh, seen a very rapid ramp up of uh, uh, randomization of patients for NION uh, and this is an important program and Itulizumab also continues to progress very well. We have an ongoing uh, important phase one trial in Australia uh, and we expect to complete that trial uh, later this year and file an IND and I think that's a very, very important optic uh, for us. So I think overall we see Biocon uh, going forward as a very recognized player in biologics. We are, we are investing heavily not just in R&D but in uh, making sure that we are a very vertically integrated uh, bio, biologics company for, as we move into the future with the kind of global capacity, the global scale that we need in across our businesses. We are very unique as a company because we are the only company really developing both insulin analogs and uh, as well as uh, the biosimilar maps and biologics. So I think that places us in a very unique spot uh, as we uh, look into the future.